Hello and welcome to a discussion about poker chips. We're going to play a hand first, as per usual. Going to shuffle some lovely chem playing cards, one of my favorite all-time brands of face cards. Plastic, used in casinos all over the world. I'm going to deal myself a hand. Go ahead and shuffle up at home and deal yourself two cards. We're going to play some Texas Hold'em here. Obviously, just for kicks and giggles, there's nothing to win here. And I need a place to burn some cards. Let's throw in some Money Tree. TR King. No way. Look at these awesome poker chips. And let's see how everything works out here. Let's keep everything straight. This is my hand. All right. Flop this. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. What do you have? Quick, write it in the comments. Oh, snap. I haven't even looked at my cards. Huh. Huh. Not a good flop for me. Would you really raise with a pair of twos? Bluff. Either way, we are going to move the camera a little bit over here, zoom in, and start our discussion for today. The question of the day. What are your favorite poker chips? From history all the way up to this point in time. Remember, this is not a recommendation because lots of these sets will just not be available. And one of those is this first one, the Grand Card Room Hot Stamp Blue Chip Company. Look at the lovely sun, sunburst, whatever they're called, the sun mold, Blue Chip Company Hot Stamps. Grand Card Room. Uh, right along with these, and these are in no particular order, these are just 10 that I really like. The Atlantic Club Hot Stamps. Again, they feel soft. They feel different from any other chips that I've handled. These two are very unique, and I like both of these. Coming in at number three, we have some Money Tree Reno. Now, I guess I could throw Mapes in here, but, you know, the inlay, yeah, sure, is a little different, but I really love the Money Tree Mapes TR King Small Crown style chips, this bright orange. This is just such a fun, happy chip set right here. I don't want to pull the mapes out. I have them, I think, in this tube right here. The yellow right here. Yeah, I think these are my mapes. Either way, very, very happy with the small crown. If I, if they still made chips, I would totally have tons and tons and tons of these. And maybe over the years, I'll collect a few more. But small crown, TR King phenomenal in sticking with the feel and looks we're going to go with some bud jones and these are mostly a feel based thing like for me bud jones feels so much different again there's that thing again feel that i really like having these next to my computer i always play with these i'm shuffling these whenever i'm on line watching wsop events watching andrew nimi i'm right here playing with my bud my bed dunes. So those are very feel based. And I'm looking, are any of the other chips that are in my top 10 slash 11 here because of feel? Well, yeah, but not exclusively. All right, so now we're getting into things that I like the look of and the feel of. So we're going to start with Tangiers. These are no longer available. Unfortunately, I've discussed this in the past, the late Sal. Uh, I'm just not sure that these are going to be available ever again, but Tangiers. To me, this is a fun, happy, lighthearted, um, almost cartoony poker chip that I feel like suits my personality very well. And also, it was like a no holes barred. It's like we're not going to hold back. And they have a lovely edge spot alignment here, hybrid with a glossy inlay on a ceramic chip. Again, a very good feel. Uh, Ascona are almost there. They, uh, to me, I like the looks of these more. They're just more fun than the Ascona, but these are currently available and they have a very similar feel. So the same feel maybe. <laughs> so Tangiers, love those. Uh, let's move into a casino set. We have a couple of casino sets here. Bellagio. The obsolete Bellagio. These are no longer used at the Bellagio. The 98 chips. Oh my goodness. 
I absolutely love these. Uh, there's the inlay, the oversized inlay with the mold texture around the edges. So it has this kind of satiny finish to it. I really like these chips. So Bellagio 98, again, totally unavailable. In Las Vegas, according to what is it, the gaming commission or the gaming control board, whatever it is, they have to destroy the obsolete chips that are in possession of the casino that the casino owns. So if they're not in the wild, they've been destroyed. Isn't that sad? Such a lovely chip. And then the other casino sets that I've really grown to love, and these are not too rare. These are actually pretty common. The Horseshoe Cleveland. I actually have some horseshoe, I have a set of Horseshoe Cincinnati's, and I love that set, don't get me wrong. But the more I look at this, particularly the one with the top hat and cane mold, I really like these Clevelands, the Horseshoe Cleveland. So definitely another casino, <laughs> casino set I like. You'll see a pattern here again, Paulson's. I like the feel of these hybrid ceramic. Uh, speaking of ceramics, this is the obvious one that everybody knows is gonna be on this list. The coin inlay crown casino. I'm kidding, these are not, these are not, did I fool anybody? These are not on the list. Ceramics, um, the, the, the Takey King, I love these chips they're so much fun they're so happy uh i don't really don't care if people like these or not because i like them i feel like it captures my personality and people that know me kind of agree with me they're like yeah he's kind of a clown he's kind of a monkey with a golden tail you know what i mean so the ceramics for me have always been easy to shuffle they feel very durable i don't mind if like my kid plays with these they're durable enough you know he can slam them into each other throw them across the room i haven't had any break yet unless I've, you know, hit it with a hammer. But, you know, so these are perfect for my lifestyle, my personality. I really like the Tiki Kings. We have eight out. Let's grab two more. Uh, obviously, people are like, oh, duh. Of course, World Top Hat and Cane. You know, if I'm not trying to buy a set of these, if I'm just talking about some of my favorite poker chips ever made, these are on the list. That's just how it is. The top hat, the world top hat and cane have this funky suits mold, which I really like. I don't mind the suits mold. Uh, it's again it gives you something unique and interesting. The true shaped inlays, phenomenal. The way that they feel, the way that they look. Um, I love the contrast between the pink and the dark blue. Lovely, <laughs> lovely, 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 and feel. So finally, you know the Key West again. I mentioned in my in some other videos that I really like the Key West chips. They make me feel happy. Again, very much like the Tiki Kings with a different feel and kind of a different weight. It's like when you go to the Mirage, they have that huge atrium, they have all those palm trees, they have all that water, and you feel like you're somewhere special. The, like, you're, like you have your own special cabana when you get to your room door. It's just a fun chip set. The Mirage is just a fun place to go. Uh, a little escapism, maybe, but as far as poker chips go, I love the Key West series. So what are your top 10? I do have an honorable mention. Uh, as far as feel goes, it's really interesting how these elite poker chips, uh, particularly the 25s, have stood out, 25 cents, that is, so you can see the decimal right here, have stood out to me, the elites. Uh, it's pretty interesting that these... Uh, feel so different. I didn't think the no mold, the lammer mold, would have made such a difference in how they feel, but they are. They do feel pretty different and they look very pleasant. So kind of an honorable mention here. Uh, this this was released in 2018, so mm, we'll see we'll see where this ends up. And again, this is all subject to change. This will change every at least 6 months, if not sooner. So I'm excited to read your comments and your thoughts. Uh, did I miss something? Somebody's going to be like, well, you totally forgot to mention Paulson Classics or something or another casino. Yeah, I know. There's there's a lot of really awesome chips. And you can see kind of my themes. Feel, looks, feel and looks. There's some, you know, it's just fun to have chips out that feel different. The ones that I always have my, by my computer, the Blue Chip Company, the Atlantic Club, 
the stack of Bud Jones. It happens to be Wyndham Old San Juan. I think there are prettier Bud Jones out there. I just don't have stacks of them. And those are the three that are sitting by my computer. I also, yeah, the Atlantic Club. Yeah, those are the three I was thinking of. So let me know your thoughts. Please visit our sponsor, PokerChipForum.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit that like button if you like this video.